Odell, how you doing, man? Good. How are y'all? We're doing all right. Congratulations on the win last week. Thank you. Thank you. Now the Bills come off a bit like sore losers. Odell uh, had some nasty things to say about you. Said you took some cheap shots at them. What is what's what's your thinking on what they said? <laughs> uh, I mean. We play San Francisco this week, and I think it's going to be a great matchup. Um, no, nah, I can't really look in the past. Uh, you know, this is football that we're playing, and um, I, I don't know. It just, it's just all kind of funny to me, you know. It just, uh, I, I don't know how to explain it, man. It, it's, it is what it is. It's kind of all in the past and moving and, uh, you know, what's been said, what's been said, but. What's happening on the field is what's happening on the field. You know what I mean? They're, they're two different things. But what did happen on the field, you did throw some punches and did get fined for it. So how much do you need to control that behavior moving forward? Well, I didn't throw any punches, but, yeah, I did get fined for uh, some actions on the field. And uh, I'm sure I'll talk to them and we'll see what it what it really is. Because, um, you know, as the game goes on, things happen throughout the game, so they just have to go back and, and check it all. But, yeah, like I said, we played San Francisco this week. I'm not worried about, you know, anybody who we played last week, um, especially after we're coming off a nice win against Buffalo. So it is great to be able to beat that team down there. And um, Rex, Ryan, Rex Ryan, who runs a tough defense uh, over there, so. You did throw a punch, though. <laughs> I mean, I love you, but well, I just yeah. looked at the replay. That If that's not a punch, I don't know what is. Yeah, but it really isn't. If your hand's open, it's not a punch. But yeah. The hand was open? Yeah, always. Your hand's always open when you're blocking. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> All right, so you want to look ahead. But sometimes, if you don't repeat, if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. Do you think now... That word will get out, and the 49ers will take advantage. Oh, let's let's really annoy this guy, and maybe we could get him to commit a penalty. Um, I mean, I would love to repeat history and you know be able to look in the in the past and repeat history of what I did last year. But like I said, this is a new year, so nothing is really for me. Any, I, I have no problems with anything going on. Nobody on this team or um, Coach Coffin, anybody has anything. Uh, wrong with what's going on, like I said. We're focused on San Fran and looking forward to it. All right, let's look at now the second quarter of the season. You finished the first quarter at 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Now, you won both of those games, so you're 2-2, two and two, so you feel good. But how much farther do you think this team needs to go to get to where you want to be? Uh, I mean, every day is a work in progress. Every, every day is a work in progress. Um, yeah, and... It, it just it's going to be over time you know we want to keep keep winning games keep winning games keep getting better and um keep clicking in all in all phases of the game uh, what kind of problems does san francisco pose they look like they're they're struggling right now their quarterback struggling this is not a great team not the 49ers that we know from the past what have you seen on film um i mean this is this is a team that's going to come in here and this is a must win game for both of us um so i, I think it's going to be an absolute dog fight in no team in the NFL is ever bad, uh, regardless of a record or who they lost to or anything like that. I, I don't look at San Fran as some, you know, some bad team right now or, or playing bad or anything like that. They just haven't been able to win games. So, uh, do know that they're going to come in here hungry, and, and the mentality is um, the same for us. Now, there's so many ways to get better, but just watching it on the outside, looking in. Playing 60 minutes, it seems like even in the Washington game and the offense kind of disappeared in the second half against Buffalo, how close are you guys to really feeling like you can put a 60-minute effort together? I'm sorry, say that last part one time. 60 minutes. How close are you guys to really putting together a 60-minute effort? Because even in the two wins, the second halves probably were not as complete as the first half. So what do you do to play a full game? Um, I mean, you, you go out there and you just keep executing, and you execute um, towards the back end of the game, and I, that's definitely would be the plan for Sunday, and I, I don't know how close you are um, because it's not Sunday, so I'll be able to know more mm-hmm. you know, after the game and see uh, what it is exactly that we did or didn't do and, and um, just making sure you play a full 60 minutes of football. What does it mean to play on Sunday night football when you know the entire sport is watching you? Um, I mean, 
just being able to play in general, like every Sunday is just uh, it, it's it's enough, you know. And to be able to go into a Sunday night game where um, you know everybody's going to be watching, it just you, you know that it's going to be intense, and you know that you're going to get everybody's best effort. Um, so I, I look forward to those games and those the the, the Sunday night or, or the Monday night games or whatever whatever the case may be. Um, the the big games is just it's always fun. It's, it's fun to compete. Now, what's your feeling about Cruz and how close he may be to finally getting a chance to to pair up with you and being on the field? Uh, I, I definitely am looking forward to being able to to play with him and um, whenever we can have him back. You know, it's it's been a while. Um, and just looking for him to get as healthy as possible. Definitely, like I said, we're all looking forward to having him back. All right, one final thing, Odell, uh, and this is a return to last week, which you said you don't want to talk about. They said you're a prima donna. Are you a prima donna? Uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, I play wide receiver, and I play for the New York Giants, and it is great to be able to play wide receiver. Um, So I don't really, you know, there's nothing really more to be said about it. Well, good luck this Sunday night, Odell. Appreciate it. You guys, too. All right, thank you.